It's not the same. Stranger Services based in the big UK. Big thank you to all you guys for subscribing. And as you know, whenever I've got something new to share with you to save you time and money and save you headaches in the future, any common faults with your Nissan Navara. As you know, today we've got a Nissan MP300 with only 15,000 miles. And it turns out the MP300 has a very, very common problem. Come and have a look. What it is, guys, is the bottom radiator hose. Which travels down the side of the engine, it's quite long. And basically, oh, you can't see, but the main radiator hose sits next to the air condensing pulley where the belt is, and it's the actual pulley that wears in to the main radiator hose, so that starts leaking. So you could be on a motorway or anything. And you just wouldn't know. You, all you would see all of a sudden is sudden loss of power and the temperature gauge in the red. And that's it, engine's finished. And the damage once you're in the red can be pistons, can be bearings, can be cracks cylinder head. So you can imagine the size of the bill for this particular owner. So be aware of it. What you need to do is you need to get the hose and cable tie it away from the air compressor as soon as possible. Um, so, so that's every Nissan, Nissan MP3 owner around the world needs to know about this common problem. Because like I said, this bad boy's only done 15,000 miles and you've seen all the coolant that was... was <laughs> right, another top tip for you. If you're a mechanic like me and you're about to work on a, a vehicle like this and you need to scan the ECU, it took me a, big, uh, a little while to figure this out. This, because it's keyless entry and to start the car you've actually got to put your foot on the brake and press the button but that starts the car immediately when you press the button again it kills the engine immediately now what you need to do if you want to scan the ECU for any fault codes like I have done is you need to do this basically just cut a log story short leave your foot off the brake close the door Press the button twice and then press the button on the dash and that puts the ignition on for you to be able to read the ECU. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I'll show you. There you go, that's the ignition on. And now you can scan the ECU. and clear any fault codes that you need, you need to be clear. And then you just press it, turn it off, and away you go. So a couple of top tips for you there. You need to be aware of these problems. As you know, with me, every time I learn something new, I'll share it with you guys, keeping your Navara on the road, your beautiful beast on the road for a, a lot longer than some of the rubbish mistakes that Nissan have made. Right, thanks for watching. Come again, subscribe for more. If you need my help and assistance, call 01274 663 999, email West Yorkshire Engines, or find us on Facebook.